The Holy Spirit is revealing what is happening with Ilhan Omar and North America and Iran and all this turbulence that is rising up right now. The Holy Spirit gave me some revelations years ago. One of the revelations was that America is going to wants to be the merchant city. They are establishing the New World Order, the Western New World Order. They are the merchant city to do that. And they said that they're going to either, they vowed to get it either handed to them in agreement or through war, one, or, one, or, one way or another. And what they're doing is they are, as the Holy Spirit revealed, they are inviting the world, because they're right now, to a nuclear briefcase, nuclear war. because the world is not giving them what they want. North America is also after the Strait of Hormuz to control that uh, economy for themselves, to be the military and the financial hub for the entire world. And also what the Holy Spirit revealed to me is that when the time comes, when war breaks out in North America and martial law and all these um, environmental catastrophe, foot soldiers, America has already declared spiritual bankruptcy. But they can also declare physical bankruptcy. They will also declare that at that time. And they will know that, um, the citizens will know that, and that is a call for all civilians to uprise, to take matters in their own hands. It's, it's psychological warfare. Once they declare bankruptcy, then what happens is that the nation becomes desperate. They take matters in their own hands. And so it's going to be absolute, complete chaos. Now, what the Holy Spirit revealed to me several years ago also is when that nuclear drone landed. It was not nuclear drone. When that drone landed, when they landed that drone into Iran, they gave Iran that te technology in order for Iran to get their own drone. And the Holy Spirit revealed to me that that is a pretext for war, for nuclear war. And we've seen that happening now with all with this happenings with these drones, all these things happening with these drones. Now, another thing is what the Holy Spirit revealed to me. This was approximately a week ago. Uh, what's happening with the proxy war situation between North America and Iran? Okay, Iran is being once again. The Holy Spirit revealed to me several years ago that Russia is backing Iran, and this was 2015, 2014, or so, 2013. Uh, 13 and they're they're the ones that set them up and the nuclear when Israel went and bombed the nuclear uh, station in Iraq that got moved to Iran okay that 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 um, nuclear station which was there for 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 their purposes uh, to fight against Israel was moved into into Iran. That was moved there and that was uh, given to the Iranians by Russia. Okay, and also Syria. Syria moved some things into Iran as well. Some nuclear parts of when they were going through their uh, thing with America, they still are. So nuclear, so Iran is a hub, okay, and it's one of the bears, one of the cubs of Russia and China also. And another one of the cubs would be North Korea, Syria, and, and other parts of the world. Now, so what, what's going to happen if America, and this can happen this year, if America goes to war with Iran, okay, what they're doing is they're calling out as many American troops needed as possible. And, and this is also because of what Russia was saying, that right by their border, is where that war is going to be. It'll, it can break out to World War III. So they're kind of seeing if they can draw some military out of America in order to have them stationed there in case they're going to need more help, more soldiers, and understanding that you know there are threats from other nations surrounding them that they're going they're they're going to need more backup. It's not only with Iran and. At that time, that's when America will be at most vulnerability, and that's when 
there could be a devastation happening there, like a nuclear EMP, a bomb or an EMP attack. And that's going to be the time when uh, there's going to be smoke, there's going to be missiles launching, and there's going, there's going to be um, disaster happening in North America. As the prophet saw, uh, there's going to be places that are going to be in, they're going to be hit. There's going to be smoke. There's going to be bills of smoke and and fire. And the sun is not going, not going to give its light because of all the smoke. And the moon will be turned to blood because there's going to be a national uprising of civilians. And that's actually going to spew over into Canada as well. Um, so you have the king of the north and the king of the south. Now the king of the north and the king of the south is also nations because these are nations that are predominantly south and north, but all nations are north and south, but a predominant nation, a, a south nation would be North America, and the, the, the north nation is, is Russia. And this is what Daniel 11 says. Now, in Daniel 26 says, in 25 says, and he shall stir up his power and his courage against the king of the south. This, this is Russia, this is Iran, this is the Ayatollah Khomeini, okay? That's who this is. And his courage against the king of the south with a great army. It's a great army. So Iran knows that they have the backing of a great army. And the king of the south shall wage war with an exceedingly great and mighty army, but he shall not stand, for plots shall be devised against him. Plots will be devised against the king of the south. That is North America, Great Britain, Canada and the like. Saudi Arabia is siding with them, but who knows where they're going to go. So, um, God knows. God knows all things, all what the nations are going to be doing. Israel is, is south as well. So, now, I want to speak regarding, I think I got everything. I want to speak regarding Ilhan Omar. Two articles. Now, this is what got me to do this video. Two articles in, uh, let me get to these articles. One, one today, one yesterday. I'll go to the one that was yesterday, or today. Today says, Mogadishu mayor wounded, officials killed in suicide attack. This is Mogadishu where uh, Ilhan Omar is from. Now, the Holy Spirit revealed to me that Ilhan Omar is very well uh, safeguarded. There, she's, there, she has a very powerful entourage that's centered there. That is the Illuminati. Okay, she has the highest elect has has put her in office there. She was hired. They've been hired for this specific thing, and what that thing is is exactly what's happening here in this office. This mayor was attacked in this office. It says here at least six people have been killed and the mayor of Mogadishu wounded in a suicide attack inside his office during a security meeting official set. So what is happening is this. In this ad here, says, this one says, this was yesterday, Ilhan Omar, I'm going to unmask the system of oppression in the US. Now, and she is, uh, once again, very formidable. She is set up for this. She's being led of, of the uh, spirit of the Democratic Party, a very strong spirit. And once again, uh, she is the, uh, that, the, the face that was painted, lit up uh, the side of that New York building. I think it was the New York or Manhattan building. That was the goddess of fertility, Astarte, the goddess of India. Okay, that's the spirit behind uh, Ilham Omar. That's what she is. And that's the spirit that's leading her. Now, if you read in this report, one, two, the third paragraph says, well, let me just read this first one. An event in Washington, D.C. on Tuesday, billed as the first national gathering of Muslims in politics in the United States history, began with the resounding uh, rebuke of racism and Islamophobia emanating from the White House and a call for Muslims to become beacons of civic participation. So once again, after the Republican Party. 
The conference comes after more than a week of racist attacks on four minority congresswomen, including Ilhan Omar and Rashida Tlaib, the first two Muslim women in Congress. Now, in this uh, paragraph, it says, organized by the Muslim Caucus, the two-day Muslim Collective for Equitable Democracy 2019 was described by Ghazala Salam, the founder and president of the Muslim Caucus, as an opportunity for Muslims to begin building stronger networks for political organizing. This is huge. Now, the next paragraph is even more huge. It says, we're not a monolithic community, not a one-issue community, said Salam at the start of the event. Not a one-issue community. So, this is speaking regarding another agenda. It's not just the po politics of the ne Democratic Party that is the frontal uh, 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 um, issue at hand for the people in order to get votes from the people, in order to be accepted by the people, in order to remain in, in office. But it's not a one. This, there's a different issue here. That issue is total takedown of North America, jihad, and Sharia law. In this paragraph says contending that the work of political and community organizing in Muslim communities often take place in silos, Salam added, we want to establish a national infrastructure for organizing American Muslims. Like what, what, she, what is she, this is Jia, this is, this is like Dearborn. She's talking about Dearborn, contending that the work of political and community organizing in Muslim communities often take place in silos. Salam added, we want to establish a national infrastructure for organizing American Muslims. This is like Dearborn throughout the entire country. Absolutely amazing. Now, go back to this ad. Mogadishu mayor wounded officials uh, killed in suicidal attack. So what they're doing is the the Muslims that are being called did that in order to raise up the entire nation to raise up the Muslim initiative for this movement worldwide. Now, once again, what this says, I'm just going to read this one more just one line here and then I'm going to get to the Bible scripture. says that uh, and even she says as Muslims, she's talking to Muslims, as Muslims you have been under attack since day one of this administration we need to stand in solidarity and common purpose she said that's a lie right they're always making Muslims the victim I watched another I was reading another news article they're saying well Muslims are attacked in the United States nothing mentioned about Christians, nothing at all. What the devil does, the devil turns it around and makes itself to be a victim. But what, it, it, what it's doing is having the world shake their fists at the cross of Jesus Christ. You see, it, it turns everything upside down. It makes itself a victim. It, it, it kills people and makes itself the victim. And that's how the innocent are called guilty, the guilty are called innocent. So here it says, contending once again that the work of political community organizing and community organizing in Muslim communities, contending that the work of political and community organizing in Muslim communities often take place in silos, Salam added, in small places. We want to establish a national infrastructure for organizing American Muslims. That is the call to war. In Revelation 16, beginning in 13, and I saw issuing from the mouth of the dragon and the mouth of the beast and from the mouth of the false prophet three foul spirits like frogs, for they are demonic spirits performing signs who go abroad to the kings of the whole world to assemble them for battle on the great day of God Almighty. That's the ten kings. Lo, I am coming like a thief, blessed as he was awake, keeping his garments that he may not go naked and be seen exposed as the full armor of God. So no arrow gets through. So they are pure before the Lord Jesus Christ. 
that they not go naked and be seen exposed. And they assembled themselves in a place which is called in Hebrew Armageddon. Now, the beginning of this is now. This can happen. This assembly is happening now. War can break out this year. It can. It can. It can break out this year. Now, what the Holy Spirit, what I wanted to say also, I wanted to add that um, the... Um, uh, That the, uh, uh, I saw issuing from the mouth of the dragon, from the mouth of the beast, and from the mouth of the false prophet, three foul spirits like frogs. For they are demonic spirits performing signs that go abroad to the kings of the whole earth to assemble themselves for battle for the great day. Okay, so that's what the word is. It's a call to war. And and I guess that's it. That's all that is. That's all the Holy Spirit wants me to speak right now. I had, I had something come up, and it's gone right now. So uh, hopefully I can recall it to mind. So we're living in amazing times of Bible prophecy. This is astounding. What is happening? And we really have to. We really, really have to be ready. And being ready is not in. Going off grid. It's 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 not. If God says to do that, do that, and it'd be great to do that. I mean, I would I would be all for it. Um, I'm not saying that the, the, the salvation is not there anyway. Okay, it's not there. The salvation is in our hearts, wherever we happen to be. Um, there comes a time God says that there's going to be darkness over the earth where no man can work, and that time there's not going to be any preaching. So, but what I, what, what I, all we have to do is have our ears to the heavenly highway and listen to what God is saying. My understanding uh, of what God is doing with his people in the times of great tribulation when the darkness comes and no, one's can, no one can, works, can do works is that he's going to have his witnesses go through that darkness as a witness and a testimony to the faithfulness of God inside humanity. And God says that, you know, he gives them wings to go in the wilderness and in a place where they're going to be protected for, three, for, for times and times and, and half a times. Okay, so he gives them wings, and the wings are to soar, you know, like an eagle, and that's a higher spiritual calling, and uh, they go to a place in the wilderness, okay, so uh, this wilderness, and uh, it says here, I just want to read it, but the woman was given two wings of a great eagle that she might fly from the serpent into the wilderness, from the serpent, into the wilderness, the place where she is to be nourished for a time, times, and half a time. So the wilderness is also where the children of the covenant were overthrown. Wilderness in the Bible also means a violent place amongst humanity. Okay, they were in the wilderness. They were in, they were in the, the desert, in Sinai. They had war there. They were overthrown also by the spirits of Lucifer, Satan the devil. But when they were in Sinai, they had quite a few wars. They went spying. They went this. They had um, a whole bunch of different... Uh, they went through a whole bunch of different nations. And then uh, they got uh, displaced. You know, when they went into the Promised Land, they got... Um, they were overthrown. Uh, also, in, in that generation got overthrown in, uh, in, in the wilderness. And they were also overthrown when they went and, and established themselves in the Promised Land. They wanted to become like the nations. Uh, so, uh, that's also the wilderness. And he wants us to conquer that. He wants us to walk through the way Jesus Christ walked through when he was doing his ministry on earth in a time of martial law occupation. He was only led of the Holy Spirit of the Father. And that, once again, is for witness and testimony to the entire creation at the white throne judgment of the faithfulness, faithfulness of God inside humanity. So, I'm saying this is a, I'm saying I'm not saying that he's not going to have some people just go into isolation somewhere where there's nobody around. I'm not saying he's not going to do that. So we have to keep ourselves always in fellowship with God and just obey the laws of God and God himself will move us. He does all that. We can't do nothing. We can't do it. We have to he will move and he'll make us move and we'll know it's him. And that's when we really rejoice. That's when we're really walking on water. Because that's the only way we can. So I hope you're edified. God bless you.
And uh, I hope this comes back. I was just, I should have stopped and just went to it, but I didn't. I kept reading it here. Um, and if it comes back to me, I'll either um, do a small segment or put it in the description box, or I'll mention it some other time. God bless you, and peace be with you in the name of the Most High, Jesus Christ, the Lord God Almighty, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. Amen and amen.